Welcome back to iClone3D.com, the number one place for all your animation needs. And in this tutorial, we're gonna be looking at how we can now create some wonderful motion for that generated audio file that we created earlier, where we done all of the facial expressions in audio to face in Video Omniverse. So this time we're gonna be using a software called Machinima. And we're gonna be sending our character into Machinima and we're gonna literally drop the audio file in and it's gonna create some natural motions for us. It's an amazing, amazing software, guys. And you really wanna learn how to use this. It's very simple and I'm gonna break it down for you so you know exactly what to do. So just before we export our character into the Omniverse, I wanna show you a couple of ways we can actually get the lip sync a lot more fluid. So I'm just gonna play this out for one second so we can watch it back. Hello lovely souls, and welcome to the enchanting world of animation, where imagination knows no bounds and creativity takes flight. I'm Okay, so what we're gonna do is, firstly, we're gonna right click on our Vizine down here, and we're actually gonna go to Talking Style Editor. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna change the speed from normal, and we're gonna change it to a smooth type. So when we do this, this is already gonna give us better results because it's actually gonna now smoothen out that whole talking style. So I'm just gonna close this down and we're gonna to go to the beginning and I'm just gonna play this back so you can watch it. Hello lovely souls and welcome to the enchanting world of animation where imagination knows no bounds and creativity takes flight. I'm thrilled to invite you on a whimsical journey through our delightful animation course. Picture this, a place where your dreams come to life where characters dance off the pages of your imagination and stories unfold with every stroke of your artistic wand. Okay, so you can see that works much better already by applying that smooth motion in the talking style. So it's just one thing that you wanna bear in mind, there is a lot of different ways we can make this a lot better. So another example I'm gonna give you, I'm just gonna extend the timeline here. And if we come to the very beginning here, you can see in the lip section, we've actually got the different kind of mouth shapes. And if we double click on one of these, it will open up the lips editor. So we can in fact now choose a different kind of mouth shape if you feel like when you're watching it back, some of the mouth shapes don't actually match the words that they're saying. Now, in this instance, it's very rare, and you know, maybe one or two places you might want to amend, but like I say, what I'm seeing back looks extremely good, and you know, it's in very rare instances you might want to go in and start to amend things. Now, don't get me wrong. There is a couple of places that we can do it, but I'm not gonna do it for the purposes of this tutorial as we're really trying to focus on how to use Machinima and get that motion. But just as a kind of thinking point, you know, you can kind of brush through your timeline and see if there are any kind of lip shapes that you might wanna change to match the words a little bit more. But for now, we're gonna close this and we're gonna to proceed to export our character out to put her into Machinima. So to do that, we wanna actually go up to File, and in this case, we're actually not exporting it for USD, we're just gonna be exporting the FBX. So we're gonna click on Export FBX, we're gonna leave all of these settings the same, and we're literally just gonna go down and hit Export, and what we'll do is we'll export it to the desktop, and we'll call it Cam1, and then I'll just hit Save, and that's now gonna export out onto my desktop. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna head into NVIDIA Omniverse and we're gonna go here to the Machinima software and we're gonna click Launch. And once that's loaded up, your interface should look something like this. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna be going up to File and we're gonna go to Import. And what we're gonna be doing is importing that FBX file. So we're just gonna go to the desktop and we can see the FBX is here as Cam1. We're just gonna click Open and that's gonna load up our character into Machinima. And once that's loaded, we're gonna hold down Alt and we're gonna left click just to get a nice view on our character. So we're gonna rotate around her and then we can scroll in, click down our mouse wheel and hold down Alt and move it up and down to get that perfectly framed. So you can see the character doesn't come in very well, but that's okay because we're not really focused on getting the character in perfectly. So the character of course has many issues, but all we're focused on is getting the 
character's bones with the right motion so they match up later when we import that back into iClone. So what we're gonna do is we're firstly gonna go up to our audio to gesture tab and we're gonna click on this tab. And now you can see we've got a couple of options here. Now what we wanna do is we wanna create an A2G offline pipeline. So we're gonna click on this here and that's gonna create our pipeline for us. It may take a few minutes to load up, but once that's ready, as you can see here on the right hand side, we are now ready to get the motion going. But firstly, we wanna do a couple of things. You can see it's created a figure here for us. So we just wanna select this model and we wanna delete that model. We don't actually need that model. So now we're gonna select this character. And what we wanna do is we actually wanna retarget the skeleton. So to do that, we wanna leave the source skeleton as the AT, A2G base skeleton, but the target skeleton, we wanna click the drop down menu and we're gonna change that to our CAM1 CC base. So I'm gonna click that and now you can see that's changed the pose, but it's brought up this alert button. So we just wanna click on this little yellow icon, I'm gonna select this and it should retarget that for us. So we need to select the one on the right, the retargeting window, I was selecting the wrong thing. But when you select the retargeting window, that's gonna turn green and we can now actually add in the audio and translate that to motion. So to do that, what we're gonna do is we're gonna come up here to our track route path and we're gonna select this and we're gonna go onto the desktop where I saved the web file earlier. We're gonna open that folder and you can see in Machinima, we actually get to see the web file. So it's only in audio to face where you can't actually see the web file for some reason, but here we can actually see it so we can select it and then we can click select and that's now added the audio here. So now what we have to do is we have to, firstly, there's a couple of things we can actually do. Uh, we can actually, we don't wanna mess around with any of this, so we'll ignore this. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna click run A2G. And when we click this, it's gonna give us a number of other options that we can then use to actually kind of tweak the motion a little bit. So firstly, I'm gonna click this. And you're gonna see it's loading up. So once that's loaded, it will start playing the audio. So I'm gonna be silent so you guys can hear the audio play and see the motions playing out on the viewport. Hello lovely souls, and welcome to the enchanting world of animation, where imagination knows no bounds and creativity takes flight. I'm thrilled to invite you on a whimsical journey through our delightful animation course. Picture this, a place where your dreams come to life, where characters dance off the pages of your imagination and stories unfold with every stroke of your artistic wand. In this magical realm, I, your guide and fellow enthusiast, will be your companion on this adventure. Okay guys, as you can see, it looks incredible. Now, we're gonna be able to tweak this motion later and actually fix things, but out of the box, it looks 90% ready and it's generated via AI. Now, there is a couple of things we can do and actually get some different results. Now, here in the style, if we click the drop down menu, you can see we've got a number of different styles that we can actually select. So currently we've got neutral. Now what we can try is we can actually select public speech and the animation mode allows us to choose either full body or just the upper body. I like to leave it on full body. And then finally the animation option, we've got a number of different options here that actually are gonna generate kind of different motions. So I believe the top one is the number one, maybe the best one and then you can go on down the list and try out different ones. So in this case, we'll try say a number three. And what we're gonna do now is we're gonna say run A2G again, and that's gonna play out with an entirely different motion style. Hello, lovely souls, and welcome to the enchanting world of animation, where imagination knows no bounds and creativity takes flight. I'm thrilled to invite you on a whimsical journey through our delightful animation course. Picture this, a place where your dreams come to life, where characters dance off the pages of your imagination and stories unfold with every stroke of your artistic wand. In this magical realm, I, your guide and fellow enthusiast, will be your companion on this adventure. Okay guys, so you can see we've got a whole different style in that one. I preferred the first one if I'm honest with you, but again, you can test this out and you can keep on trying different styles and you're gonna get different results. So it really is awesome. Now we're gonna go to a calm speech and we'll try out a calm speech and we'll try out top number one and we'll see if we get a 
better kind of version. As I was saying, I think the option, the number one is the best one, I believe. But if we run that, we are gonna get different motions each time because it is generating through AI. So I'm gonna run this again, and that's gonna take a second to load up, but we're gonna see some awesome results. Hello, lovely souls, and welcome to the enchanting world of animation, where imagination knows no bounds and creativity takes flight. I'm thrilled to invite you on a whimsical journey through our delightful animation course. Pick okay, so I'm just going to stop that there because I wanted a bit more motion going on in the character. So instead of a calm speech, let's try the big gestures, and we'll try the number eight just to see what happens and if the motion's any good. We're just gonna run that again and that'll take a second to load. Picture this, a place where your dreams come to life, where characters dance off the pages of your imagination and stories unfold with every stroke of your artistic wand. In this magical realm, I, your guide and fellow enthusiast, will be your companion on this adventure. Okay guys, that works amazing. So I'm really happy with that. Now what we're going to do is we're going to look at how to export this and get this over into iClone. So what we want to do firstly is we want to actually come down here and we want to record this because we haven't actually recorded this. So what we're going to do is we're going to firstly choose the destination path. So I'm just going to open this here. I'm going to go into my D drive and I'm going to open Omniverse and I've got a folder saved for FBX motion files, as you can see here. And I'm just going to select this folder. That's where we're going to save that file to. Now we can change the name from take to maybe cam one, and we'll leave the export frames as 60 seconds. And now what we're going to do is we are going to click record, and that's going to then record that for us. It's a very quick process, as you can see, and that is pretty much done. Now what we want to do is we want to head over to our stage panel. And what we want to do is we basically first want to actually drag Camille into our timeline. So the timeline is down here. And what we're going to do is we're going to drag this skeleton here into the timeline, but we're going to drag it into this section here on the right. And we're going to drop that and you can see that places the skeleton in there. Now what we want to do is we want to go to where we saved out the export earlier. So we're going to open up the D drive and I'm gonna go into the motion section in Omniverse. And we can see here, we've got the Cam1 USDA. So what we wanna do with this is we wanna drag it into our sequencer, but we wanna drag it on top of Cam here and just drop it. And that's gonna then drop that down there. And you can see we've got our Cam02 and that is the motion file. Now we just wanna drag this motion file in our timeline here and we're gonna drop it. And now you can see that places the motion in the timeline and if we play it back you can see that plays out perfectly so that shows you that the motion has been added and it is working fine and now all we need to do is export this and we can then place it into iClone so I'm going to show you how to export it we just want to go up to file and then we're going to say export and we're gonna export this as an FBX. So we're gonna come down here to this drop down menu and we're gonna select the FBX file. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna choose the folder we wanna save it in. So I'm gonna save it again in my D drive and in my FBX motion files, I'm gonna save this here. So I'm gonna change the name on the left hand side here. We're gonna change this to cam one and I'm gonna hit save. And that's now gonna bring up this menu. So we're gonna turn off everything except for export animation. All we wanna do is export the animations and then we're gonna click export. Now that will take about a second or two and that's done already. Now we can head back into iClone 8 and all we're gonna do is we're gonna be dragging and dropping that FBX file onto our character. So I'm gonna open up my D drive again and you can see, oops, I did have it up but I'll go back into the FBX motion and you can see I've got cam one here as the FBX file. Now all we need to do is drag and drop this on our character and we're gonna leave all these settings as they are and what we're gonna do is we're gonna say convert all. And once that's loaded on, we can now play that back. So I'm just gonna zoom out a little bit so we can see the kind of full body. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna right click on Camille and I'm gonna get her to look at the camera and then I'm just gonna go down to the look at here and I'm gonna bring the body all the way to zero. And now I'm gonna play this back and we can watch and see how that motion plays out with our audio. 
Hello lovely souls, and welcome to the enchanting world of animation, where imagination knows no bounds, and creativity takes flight. I'm thrilled to invite you on a whimsical journey through our delightful animation course. Picture this, a place where your dreams come to life, where characters dance off the pages of your imagination, and stories unfold with every stroke of your artistic wand. In this magical realm, I, your guide and fellow enthusiast, will be your companion on this adventure. Okay, guys, so as you can see, that works amazing, guys. The motion looks incredible. The vizemes and the lip motion looks incredible. And it just really works so well. And there's, you know, tons of different options you can try out. Each different audio file you load into Machinima is going to give you a different result because it's using the AI to actually work with the audio file. So what we're going to be doing in the third and final installation to this tutorial series is we're going to be looking at how we can clean this motion up a little bit and get it working perfectly. So we're going to look at some really, really cool techniques on how we can clean up that motion and how we can get it looking incredible and production ready. So, you know, you don't want to miss it. We're going to be looking at things like how to use the curve editor to smoothen everything out, how to adjust the shoulders and get them looking in a much better, more comfortable position and so on and so forth. So really hope this tutorial helped and really hope to see you guys again soon for another tutorial.